Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. So we're talking about ways and how, for some reason, their servers got overloaded and it was showcasing thumbnails from other people's cameras, which is crazy, right? This is why I'm telling y'all, I'm one of those... I love technology, but I'm also one of those people that like to have my tinfoil hat on once in a while because I'm just that paranoid, to be honest. Um, there are certain things that I will never allow in my home, and that is any one of those um, camera systems like people install, like whether it's the Nest, uh, Rings, Waze, whatever it is, I would never install any of those cameras in my house and if i wanted something like that in my home i would have it in a closed system um, hooked up to a hard drive something hard wired into the house where it doesn't have any access to the internet or i can't access it remotely but that's just me because i'm just a paranoid kind of person <laughs> I mean, we already have enough listening devices. You know, we have our phones, obviously, that always consistently listening to us and recommending some of these advertising crap that, you know, for us to purchase. You know, we got that. And then you have your smart TVs that are also <laughs> listening to you and reporting on you, unless you don't give it internet access. And then you have, of course, your Amazon Fire Stick TVs, your Roku's, your Echo Dots, your any of those smart devices that you may have in your house that's consistently listening to you and your conversations as always, which any of those devices can be hacked. We've seen multiple times big corporations getting hacked. It's not a it's like it's just something that's normal now, which is which sucks. So anyway, here we are. So Waze cameras let some owners see into a stranger's home again so it's 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 normal like these companies are consistently just fucking up so that's why i just you know you have to draw the line somewhere but that's just me you can do whatever the hell you want to do in your home i don't give a shit um anyway ways executive confirmed a security issue that showed users thumbnails taken from other users cameras um five months ago we wrote about how your ways can webcam might have let strangers peek into your house today it happened again ways co-founder david crosby confirms that at least a dozen users were able to briefly see into a stranger's property because they were shown an image from someone else's camera oof we have now identified a security issue where some users were able to see thumbnails of cameras that were not their own in events tab after extended outage, the Waze says it stemmed from a problem with AWS, which is the Amazon, you know, network. We found 10 different Redditors reporting that their Waze app showed them image they shouldn't have seen, including a glimpse of stranger's porch, or in some cases, a living room. Some of the videos were from entirely different time zones. Oof. One of my cameras notified me of an event from an inside Someone else's home with them walking in, walking around. Begins one post. I just got an emotion detection notification with a picture for someone else's house that isn't mine. Woo! I'm able to see a random camera I do not have permission for. Read the similar post posts in Waze forums. Notifications alert for camera I don't own. A second one starts. Six users co commented on other people's Reddit posts to say they too were seeing the image pop up. Waze seems to be taking a more transparent tag today than it has with previous incident, and so far it says it only aware of similar number of reports as ones we found. So far, we collected 14 reposts of this happening, but we're currently identify all affected users. We will also send notification to all wa always users explaining what happened. Crosby tells us at least they're being, you know, transparent. But shit like that shouldn't happen. <laughs> For me. I would have just sold the system or just throw it out. I'm like, fuck this shit. That's too much. 
After an AWS, so here's the update. After an AWS outage this morning, our servers got overloaded and it corrupted some user data. We have now identified a security issue where some users were able to see thumbnails of cameras that were not their own in events tab. Fortunately, they were not able to view live streams or watch these videos, only the thumbnails were visible. So far, we collected 14 reports of happening, but we're currently identifying any affected users. These affected users will be notified ASAP. We'll also send notification to all Waze users explaining what happened. As soon as we saw these reports, we took down the events tab. We then added an extra layer of verification for user for each users before that could see the thumbnails. To be extra safe, we're now forced to log in out all users who have used the Waze app today to reset tokens. Yeah, but still, <laughs> they need to have other parameters of security issues. This shouldn't have happened. Never. Nobody's information should cross in with somebody else's information. That's just my opinion. But that's why I don't have any of this shit in my house. <laughs> um, even my webcam. I do have a webcam in my in my um that's connected to the computer, but I usually like um unplug it at certain times and then when I do my recordings I just use my um my DSLR for my for, for all my videos and that's mainly what I use. Same thing for my live streams. So these things can never turn on on its own. You manually have to turn it on and within thirty minutes or so it automatically shuts off. Um with but with a webcam you never know somebody can hack it turn it on whatever same thing for my microphones i usually mute my mic after i'm done or sometimes i'll just unplug it in general we'll explain in more detail once we finish investigating exactly how this happened and further steps will we will take to make sure it doesn't happen again again we are very sorry for the inconvenience today thanks to everyone who helped report incidents and help get devices back online our deepest apologies to everyone affected okay you did all that but what are you gonna do to those people man i feel like there should be some compensation but i'm sure you know big corporations like that always have something in their claws um don't put any internet connected camera inside your house Bam! That's exactly what I've been saying. Don't put any internet connected camera inside your house. Problem solved. Using Waze as an outdoor security camera is a no brainer. They're easy to set up, easy to use, affordable, and high performing. I really wish any politician would step up and actually try to regulate devices like Ring. If you want to subject yourself to this privacy nightmare, fine, but it's not fair that as a pedestrian in any reasonable sized North America city, I am consistently subjected to being filmed by shady services on behalf of an angry reclauses. There's no expectation of privacy in public street. That is true. Um, he said, that's not true. But in Canada, municipal tea, there are strong rules against using cameras and CCTV to record audio strangers passing by. Not in the United States, man. If you're walking on a public road, you are fair game. Now, I'm completely okay with, you know, having these cameras, you know, obviously like outside your house. But that's also could be dangerous because what if thieves decide that they want to rob you? They hack into your cameras outside, see exactly when you're coming home or when you're leaving your home and then just plan their attack that way. So that could also be a catch-22. But anyway, enough of me rambling on. Let me know your opinions about this situation. You guys know how I feel about it. Don't put that shit in your house. If it is, make sure it's a closed system where it has no access to internet. Absolutely not. Storing it on hard drives, SSDs, or um, SD cards, or something like that. So it's, or I don't know, videotapes. That's the thing. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.